Despite all the upticks in prices and gas and everything else, I am damn sure grateful that Little Caesar still has those $5 pieces, man. Oh, shit, and that's going to come super in handy today. Little Caesars and those $5 pizzas. Swinging and banging on the ones and twos. Allow me to reintroduce myself to you. I'm Kendrick Avant, your professor of gratitude because all I ever do is come in here with this gratitude journal and I remind you to write down the stories of why you are grateful. That way you'll have less negative thoughts, more positive thoughts. This is what we call the University of Gratitude podcast. And every single day I am modeling how you do this. How working this can make you a better parent, a better spouse, a damn better teacher. What is special today? I'm going to tell you right now what is special. It is National Pepperoni Pizza Day. Hell yeah. And since it is National Pepperoni Pizza Day, I'm going to bring up old school. Y'all remember Ninja Turtles, the homeboy Mikey? Yep, it is one on Netflix. I'm going to go ahead on and try out the cartoon in honor of National Pepperoni Pizza Day. I'm going to be right there with the homeboy Mikey. I'm going to bring in the kids. We're going to get this pizza and just chill. And by having that pizza, that means my wife doesn't have to make anything. By having that pizza, that means I get to jump out and I just might get off work in time to celebrate and do this thing with them. National Pepperoni Pizza Day. You can give everybody on the sales for a slice. You can go have a slice of that with your students. Man, you can go to that assisted living center. You can go to that, um, to that retirement home and have a slice of pizza with your people that are there. Enjoy yourself on National Pepperoni Pizza Day. Okay, my first day, because it is Tuesday, day number 34, September 20th. My number one gratitude is that it is tie day for me. And I've told y'all, tie days are because I don't work on hump days. I don't work on Wednesdays. I don't like to work on Wednesdays, weekends. So on Wednesdays, I take my Tuesday. I take Friday. I put it together. I got a tie day because I don't go to work on Wednesdays. When I get off the clock tonight, this means I'm just it, man. It's time to have this pepperoni pizza, and that's just it, man. I ain't got shit else to do. I can have a drink, all of that good stuff. It is tie day, and I can give y'all four or five reasons and turn this into a whole stack of cheesy gratitudes, but I won't. I'm just going to tell y'all this tie day. I don't know about you, but it's tie day for me, Tuesday and a Friday. Salute to that. Gratitude number, gratitude number two. I got to admit, as much as I dislike the constant emails and notifications from the Indeed and ZipRecruiter apps, I've even taken no mugs off the phone. They fill up your email inbox with that mess. It is comforting to know that I got all this stack coming in. And because I got my, my, my sales license for healthcare, that if something goes wrong, wherever it is I'm at, I got backups, steady, steady, steady right there. That's a good reassuring feeling. Yes, I hate the emails. Oh my gosh, I can't stand the constant note, the constant note, the constant notifications. But damn dude, because I get those constant notifications, the other way to look at that is I got backup. If anything goes wrong, if anything is needed, I know exactly where to go to pick up some quick money and keep doing whatever it is I'm doing. Celebrate to that, man. I'm opening up my perspective. Your boy's growing up. Gratitude number three. Let me tell y'all this damn story that I had to write down. So I'm trying to get my CAT scans of the abdomen done. And I'm calling in back and forth. Like I'm having to talk to them several times throughout through throughout a couple of weeks. And I call in one time and I can hear the testing center people complaining and talking cash shit about me. 
talking cash shit about how they just wish I would make up my mind. Why am I trying to use dual insurance? Everybody else doesn't have dual insurance. Just pay the money. Man, hell, I ain't got the goddamn money. But what I wrote down right here, that gave me the strength and the energy to go ahead on and find a different place. Woo, celebrate on that one, boom. Now, moving forward, I'm a whole lot more comfortable because even if the people there will be talking shit about me for having dual insurance and not wanting to pay all the stuff, whatever, dog, whatever. I'm gonna go to a new spot and I at least know they have not been talking about me to my goddamn face. I mean, talking cash shit when they answer the phone, man. What the hell is that? And I'm telling you, man, the way to look at that, the way to spin it around, is that I know I've been knowing I gotta call around and get other other options. What's the point in having healthcare if you don't actually go through these steps and have your options and investigate and blah, blah, blah. I did it, found a spot. It's even closer than where I was going to go. And is it cheaper? No, it's, no, it's not cheaper at all. But damn it, there was no issue at all with me using dual insurance. I ain't got to drop a damn me down. I'm gonna split it up between the two insurance companies. No insurance for six years and now I got dual insurance? Yep, that's gonna be a whole gratitude. That can be a whole list. That can be easy, that can be cheesy. I can do that shit all kind of ways. But either way, y'all just heard my story. Y'all be pretty. Stay grateful. I salute you. I'm out. It is time to stop waiting on somebody else to teach you, to make you, to motivate you, to inspire you to be a better person. You can do it yourself by picking up a gratitude journal and writing down why you're grateful every single day. That will cost you nothing. There's no complaining about prices. There's no complaining about who's available. There's no complaining about if they are compatible with you. Get yourself a gratitude journal. Start writing this stuff out. Take the steps to be better. You.